Sanitize your hands and put on disposable gloves. Run controls daily or according to the manufacturer's recommendations. Record the date and the lot number on the container. Take the positive or high control solution and mix prior to dipping the strip or pipetting the solution onto the strip. In addition to testing the reagent strips, controls also validate that the tester is performing the test correctly. At the designated time, 30 seconds, begin reading the first two tests starting at the lower end of the strip. Note that each of the results are in the positive or right-hand range for each test result. Read the next two results at 40 and 45 seconds. The next four tests can be read after 60 seconds and the last test is read after two minutes. You will record the control results on the lab sheet and check to make sure that each test is in the proper control range provided by the manufacturer. Mix and place the specimen on a paper towel. Open the jar of reagent strips and remove one strip. Close the jar again. Check and verify the specimen against the chart. Dip the strip in the specimen and draw it out along the edge of the cup to remove excess urine. Then tap the strip on the paper towel to further remove excess urine. Avoid letting urine run from one box on the strip to another by holding it horizontal. Set the timer for two minutes. Hold up the strip against the boxes on the label of the bottle. Note the results by matching the color on the strip to its corresponding color block on the color chart. Each box is read at a specific time according to directions on the label beginning at the bottom of the strip. The length of time ranges from 30 seconds for glucose and bilirubin to 40 seconds for ketone, 45 seconds for specific gravity, 60 seconds for blood, pH, protein, and urobilinogen, and then two minutes for leukocytes. Use the timer to read the results after the correct amount of time has elapsed and record on the results sheet. Discard the strip in waste container. Make sure the cover on the specimen cup is on. It is usually kept until the physician has seen the patient in case further testing is necessary. Remove and discard the gloves and sanitize your hands. Chart the results on the patient record.